This is Flash and Larry Woods and Rob Works at the Drop in a Coil podcast, well, show, <laughs> at the reallibertymedia.com. And I like that tune. That was a nice little love ballad. I appreciated that. And uh, what we got here, we are on the, uh, the 10th day of September in 2020, and it's, ah, there's the bubbler kicking off the weekend. Anyway, thank you, Grimner, for giving us this little place to voice our uh, collective opinion and such. And if you're into the chat, we have the chat room stocked with bots and bodies. We've got Barman, Beetle, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Asmo, Chloe, Chelsea, Dini, Circlo, hello, honey, Chloe, again, Dan Van Meter, me, Flash Somebody, Jay's Nines, Jay's, Meisterbrow, Prince, Rob Works, Trust No One. Of Vanna White, What a Dork, The Phantom, CC66, Cyborg, Noodle, and Civ, Frumpy, Kiss underscore Matt, WJ2002, Mr. Snick, Pwn Sauce, SLC Mike out there in Utah. Smart as the host and Zbix. And there's a web just joined in. I have caught wind that there's a little bit of news from the Larry Woods camp. Am I right tonight, guys? Yes, sir. Because mm-hmm. I don't even have a title for Well, I have a title for the show, but I don't know if it'll fit the show. It is alive. Hey, it could be. It's it is the law. It's the law. <laughs> if you want me to use that? It's the law. <laughs> it's the I was going to use two words, comma, unsustainable debt. But it's the law works. Either <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Larry. <laughs> or was it's that Rob? That was, that was Larry. Okay, that was you, huh? Anyway, so what what is going on in the electronic world? We didn't blow it up. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> we we tried once. We tried. We tried, but we we didn't. Uh-huh. We got that fixed before we hooked it up. But power to it. Finally, after two months, da da da, we got three days worked out. Uh oh. Somebody wants. Yeah, still somebody haven't learned how to mute your phone. Me. <laughs> yeah, stop that nonsense. Cool. Anyway, uh, hey, yeah. we're making history here, Rob. Quiet. Oh, sorry. We, we got, we got the three phase worked out. Uh, it is a one, two, three, four, five coil system. Yeah, one coil gives it the power out of the hallback array that's not moving. It's not visibly moving. One coil is a booster coil that where the L1, L2, and L3 of the three-phase load hook to. And three coils are MOSFETs, are capacitors, are resistors, and our link, our power supply link. Uh, we're putting the power supply on the middle of this, uh, in the exact center of the three coils, the three switching coils, which gives a boosting power to the capacitor of the circuit number five, which in turn, the five circuit is part, uh, one third, one fourth of the large resistor and the two circuit is one third of the small resistor. And we've got those in there. (laughs) We've got a capacitor on 159 to make the MOSFETs work. I'm pretty sure you lost everybody at L1, L2, and L3. (laughs) Oh, but but, but it works. It works. Yeah, I mean, and I have a question. Um, 
but what you've got is what so you've got a driver coil, which is your yeah. your power producing coil with the hallback array in it. Right. You've got that going into a coil, uh, which is one of your component coils. And then well, you have that, a that goes into the three switching coils. Okay. That and you've got that powers the three switching So you've got it coming into the middle. Which I'm assuming is the middle, the, the one coil, or the middle of each of the three coils. Well, no, it's it's coming into circuit number six, which is which is the center of a coil. Uh, right. So it's coming into one coil, and then that's branching out to two more component coils, and then and then those three go through the uh, booster coil. Yeah, each each end. one of these each one of these coils represents L one, L two, and L three. Okay. Each. Yeah. Okay. So, so it, you are going in, the, into each coil with the driver circuit. Yes. Yes. So the driver is pushing all three at the three. same time. Yeah, but the driver does not go to the power coil whatsoever. Right, it goes through the the three circuit coils. Right. The component coils. What do you call them? Those? Right. Those, yeah, those are component coils, switching coils. Right. So the these circuit are the coils that you take the created, coils all the electronic stuff. These the ahead, circuit what? that you've created uh, with the coils, the circuits, the components. Yes. What would you call, like, if you had built something of that nature on a circuit board, what would you call that? Uh, it's the capacitors that go on the circuit board. Uh -huh. It's the resistors that go on the circuit board. We've got a small and a large resistor. Okay. Uh, it's got three capacitors. It's got one MOSFET and one power supply. On each of the three switching coils. Okay. Um, a MOSFET is uh, we're using it to switch polarity from positive to negative in the AC. This is all AC. So you're getting not true AC, it. not not a square yeah. wave. Yeah, not square wave. It cannot work on a square wave. Right. But. We've got it, and it's worked, and it even worked through a jury-rigged uh, uh, voltage regulator that was made out of a light dimmer switch. Okay. A rheostat. Yeah. yeah, a rheostat, exactly. Yeah, we MacGyvered that thing for sure. <laughs> and so you've got three a three-phase motor, the one you were talking about, the dryer motor? Yeah, a brushless DC motor. Yeah. yeah, and you got that to run? You bet yeah. we did. And uh, did you put a load on that or of any kind? Or No, we didn't put any loads on it. We were so tickled when we got Just it Just to get it to turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. It, it's running at 3,600 RPM. Okay. Which is good. That's a 60 yeah. cycle thing. Okay. Uh, and and we're we're going to to put we're going to make three of these systems and put two fifty cycle motors on it and one sixty cycle. Right. And we'll bring it to fifty four cycles for the whole system. Gotcha. Uh, and when we do that, then then we'll be able to to put this fifty four cycles out. Through our power coil, our spiral coil with the hallback array, mm -hmm. we'll then we'll take the hallback array out of it and put that power into it that that generated the power into it, so okay, that we so can provide the whole system with fifty four. Feed it back into it itself. So. Yeah. yeah. So so the hallback array is is just a starter mechanism basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just the beginning, and for the the whole back array will work real good on every twelve uh, 
light poles, which is 24 houses. Okay. You use one hall back array, and, and that'll give you 24 houses worth of power. Uh, simple poles. because of the yeah. distance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that 12 volt through this power coil, the big coil, will boost that up to whatever voltage you need. Right. Just a different way of wiring it. Uh, but it, we got three phase working, boys and girls. Yay! Yeah, that's. Yep. I that's... doubled everybody's salary today. Yeah? We're, yeah, we're all making nothing, and I doubled it. Perfect. Cool. I feel so Jewish when you talk like that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a capitalist. <laughs> yeah, that's what you are. Stop it. You're going to make me laugh. <laughs> well, yeah. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited about this. We've been working on it so long and so hard. We've we got a lot of hours into this. Yeah, that's song. a big milestone. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, this well, phase was easy. Uh, uh, this one just now, dumped us. Now you just got to wait for the government to not confine you to your house. I'm going to buy bigger guns. Oh. Well, <laughs> how's that going to get you to out of the house and onto a job? I'm you know, mounting a, a Gatling gun the on the roof of my van. Oh, you're going to fight your way out. Yeah, and, and a 20 <laughs> millimeter cannon going out in the back. Wow. <laughs> Snake Woodskin. Mad Max. Escape Larry. from Missouri. <laughs> Mad Max. I'm going to take yeah. cigarettes to California from here and resell them. <laughs> they were way ten dollars a pack, and they're five dollars a pack here. I'll double my money. Yeah, yeah, but they're the state's burning up, so people are <laughs> everybody will be money. able to get a light. Yeah, and they really need a light. <laughs> yeah. Wow, cruelty! Ouch! My no. all Americans, how can you guys do that? Be all American, and then you talk shit about the next state over. <laughs> Like, yeah, it would be like me talking shit about my neighbors. You know, hey, they're my fucking neighbors and I love them until I have to talk to them. Then I don't love them no more. <laughs> oh, you must be an American. <laughs> my neighbors I don't talk to me. You never see the neighbors. Nobody ever comes outside. <laughs> well, you're lucky. Yeah. Oh, bad. Now everybody's wearing a mask and washing their hands and shit. It's no Not fun. In my anymore. neighborhood. Well, I'll tell you, they just took all the fun out of living when they put all these ignorant restrictions on us, like a bunch of babies. Mm. Moms are rolling babies around the streets in their carriages and no mask. People are barbecuing in their yards and oh, okay. blowing up the whole neighborhood really yeah. good with no mask. Yeah. Small town stuff, yeah. Yeah. But, boy, you get to the big cities. Even Copenhagen's weird now. Mm. <laughs> got all these wackadoodles get come into the little town I live in. Come in on the train and the buses with their masks on. Looks terrible. I thought oh, Walmart gave up on making them wear masks. Well, that's the whole point. See, eventually the, the people here will catch on as a bigger group. Right now, this is a small, small part of them get it. Mm -hmm. But uh, things are, you know, it does take them a little bit. But once they get convinced of something, then, ah. Because they're still looking to not be fucked by their government. Well, you watch. When all this is over, 50% of the sheep will still wear their mask in public. Oh, they yeah. It's on the new norm. Well, yeah, but see, those people are seriously ill. Yes. Physically and mentally. So, And they're going to make it even worse. The CO2 well, that they're uh, breathing is killing their brain. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. I call it the great culling of... 2020. Yep. So I'm well, just riding out the calling. I don't give a shit what they do to each other. Let them kill each other off. It's not my problem. Well, that's that's what I'm advocating. Take the safety yeah. labels off. You should clap. Yeah, when you see them, when you see them, clap. Yeah, and just encourage it because they'll Good get, job. Crap. Get, get out what, of the way faster. When I was little, me. there was a little cylinder that you had that you could turn it upside down and it would either moo or bow like a sheep. 
and I want to find those again, just well, so that I can take mine out to the store. Well, you've got Amazon, which there's a few guys on the internet that know how to do that Amazon stuff. What do you call it? Uh, what do you mean? What do you I, the toy you're thinking of? I don't know, but I mean, there's ways to figure out what something's called by identifying it on the. By what are you trying to figure out, Lee? The the little it was a cylinder about uh, two inches around, mm -hmm. and when you turned it over, it would make the sound of either a cow or a What's what period of time was that in fifteen uh, sixties? In the, the early sixties. Okay, there's a guy on the RLM that does a lot of that internet buying mm -hmm. and selling stuff. You might know it. You might have ran across one. No, it is. You never know. Yeah. So you ask, you know. So uh, I'll try to remember to ask Asmo the next time I see him if he's ever heard of that. Okay. Yeah, it, it would be so much fun to take to the store. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, it would just, that'd be wow. better than Walmart bingo. Well, not for me. Uh, <laughs> I've got to. I've got to behave myself like a human being over here in a foreign land. I want to start a riot. Yeah, but I'm representing you guys. Do you want me to be a fucking idiot over here and cause a bunch of trouble, really? Well, no. Every okay. time I go to a foreign country, I'm embarrassed to say I'm an American. Yeah, I yeah, I, I get that internal kind of cringe because I know the truth about the wars and shit. But yep. if I didn't, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't yeah, care less. And I feel really dumb because I only speak one language. Oh, yeah, but you know what? That's life. Communicating is mostly what causes all the trouble anyway. That's right. If you just leave people the hell alone and you don't talk to them, you know what doesn't ever happen? Except if they're cops. They never shoot you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Police, that's 50 50 with them. <laughs> well, here you can still smile and wave at folks, and they'll smile and wave back if they're not one of math. Uh, but in the big city, you smile at somebody and say, what are you looking at? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not nothing like that here. Still, people, strangers, I was out in public today, and total stranger was friendly, and how are you? And Yeah. You know, on his way out the place, he said goodbye, like a normal, you know, people that encounter each other in a crowded room. Mm -hmm. Not that elevator sex shit. <laughs> Fuck you! Ah, fuck you! Wait, we're in an elevator. <laughs> yep. Hell of a plow. I've never fucked in an elevator. Oh boy, I miss it so much. Yeah, well, the highest building around here is a, <laughs> it's a church. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> did it again. You got to cough to get off. Thank you, honey. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, my a wife. Good evening. My wife was bringing me coffee while I was uh, entertaining my lungs and some of my brain cells. I think. I wonder You're how that supposed was. to smoke and drink at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. well, nah, I'm having tea and coffee. So I'm, I'm drinking a, raspberry tea today. A, really? How exotic! Raspberry. It's yummy. Berry. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> wow. The way see we we're living on the edge as rebels. That's it. Drinking tea, talking on the radio about electrical shit. Well, I've still life. got the drawing in my lap, and I'm looking at it, and I'm amazed. We've got four way switches in this thing. We've got three way switches, all wired into it electrically. There there are no components. These are just 12 circuit coils. How do they switch? How do they switch? Uh, two circuits are tied together in what we call a bird's beak. Out of, out of the center of the intersection between the two, the two wires, the, the one wire that's connecting the two circuits. Those circuits next to one another will always be the opposite polarity. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you put AC into it, those will continue to switch positive to negative back and forth. 
This is the three six. Okay, this is the the three six on the uh, rodent design. Okay. So those two are switching, those two are switching polarity back and forth, and those bird speaks go to L1, L2, and L3, the three leads on the motor. Okay. So, are the three lights, if you want to just use lights. But the way we've got these three switching coils interacting with one another, we're going to get on, on, off. On, on, off. It's going to, going to just progress. So just go right down the chain. And it's going to keep that pattern forever. And the the way we've got it wired, there's no way that the polarities can switch to the wrong polarity because one system is providing positive and negative for it. So all it sees is the right polarity. Uh, we were blowing things up for a while, but we got that straightened out. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, the, it it's kind of strange, kind of hard to explain. Uh, two of them, you're using the positives to make the light work, and one of them you're using the negative to make the light work. So it's it's a series parallel kind of thing, and every time the polarity switches. We've got a four-way switch built into circuit seven and eight on all three of these, which means that the positive of seven is hooked to the positive of eight, and the positive of eight uh, and the negative of eight is hooked to the negative of seven. So that gives us the four-way of a switch to to convert the entire thing so that that one light will blink it it just moves the the one that's off down the progression. Okay. So the 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 on on off the off cycles around the three circuits. The three. Yeah. 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 The off goes first. It's in circuit A, then it's in circuit B, and then it's in circuit C okay. because of this. Because of this X formation that we've got between circuit seven and eight. Uh huh. That's fascinating. That that, yeah, yeah. that that lets the off light be a different off at different positions. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't I don't, I don't understand why, but I just I understand the concept of what it's doing. Well, the on on off is so that the motor keeps spinning. So that progresses in the uh, in the timing of the motor. Yeah, yeah, that's, and the timing of the motor is what dictates the timing of this entire circuit. When the motor gets up to full speed, this circuit will alternate at the speed that the motor wants. Which you say runs at thirty six hundred RPM. Yeah. And how many switches of a circuit does one revolution do? Uh, 36 times 3. 3,600 times 3. That's why a MOSFET doesn't work. It'll burn them out. That's why they were burning out their MOSFETs. Because you can't switch that fast with a MOSFET. In an air core coil... You can switch as fast as you want to because there's no impedance. Yeah. Zero impedance, zero resistance. Yeah, once you're running on magnetic circuits. Yeah. Yeah. And and the capacitor at five going through the resistors gives us the magnetic circuit from circuit six that's powering the whole thing. It's an induced capacitor. That's a magnetic circuit, an induced circuit. There's no electricity going through that circuit. That's all magnetic. That's the circuit. That's the circuit that you can grab hold of. That's the circuit that you can put your meters on, and nothing at all shows up. But when you put a load on it, 
it works. Right. Nobody can do that but us so far. Right. Yeah. I just want to know when the catalog's coming out. Oh, buddy. <laughs> or how do I get a distributorship? Or how do you no, do all? We're still working on the still working on the drawings. The, the pilot project we haven't gotten. The last thing we heard is they're still looking for an island. So mm, who knows okay. when that'll go? And all this lockdown, and I'm not going to spend two weeks in the airport when I come back from. Right. Right. <laughs> wow, you just have no sense of humor. None whatsoever. I'll bet you Donald <laughs> Trump would do it. I want to read everybody's requirements because I still claim that I'm not required to wear one. I fit all of the criteria. Yeah, but you're not a power trip happy cop looking for an old guy to fuck with. Come on, Larry. Most Use of the your cop, imagination. Most of the cops that I see in airports wouldn't stand a chance. Well, eh, okay. <laughs> Not to shoot me. Yeah, well, see, yeah. I had to compromise my uh, shoot my belief system to travel. Oh no, I know what he's talking about. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> Traveling is a pain in the ass. And that's how you know that there's something fucking wrong. Well, even before the COVID, it was a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, years before that. Yeah, but when I started, started it, it was a, it's it was gone in the Yeah. Now it's just a drag. Well, I I would rather that they strip search me, though. It, at least I get a little action at the airport. Yeah, I'll bring that up to my wife the next time I feel like going out of the country. <laughs> hey, they might strip search me at the airport, honey. <laughs> Do they work by request? Can you pick which one? Can you pick which one? I think they work. Can you pick which one? got a lottery system. <laughs> can you you got everybody with the letter R in their name today, John. <laughs> well, how else do you explain them looking at, you know, like, Children in wheelchairs and what kind of disgusting freaks do this kind of shit? Yep. Yeah. A Thoratok could kiss my lily white butt cheeks. Just mm. people that need a job. What well, I don't know. I don't need a job that bad. Now, I'm going to be jacking you up so that I can stop people from jacking you up. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's the same fucking thing, you cops out there in cop land. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, hell, can you imagine if you treated your family the way police treat you? Ah! Crying out loud. Somebody in the family would shoot you, poison you, bury you in the backyard. Right. And then tell everybody in the family that you got pissed and went to Chicago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yep. Didn't say a word. Just took everything and split. Yep. Ain't seen them since. Oh, those flowers in the backyard. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Special fertilizer. I imported it from Chicago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was stalling until you... Because the last uh, little tirade that Larry went off was called Three Switching Coils Interacting. Huh? Huh? Absolutely. Uh, was I paying attention or what? You were. Worry? You were. And, you did okay. So, now, being as I really don't have any suitable questions, I thought you might just have something right popping up off the top of your head all by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, um, I'm going to gonna be inking this one. Now. Since since it works, I'll, I'll ink it in later on today and... Okay. Are we going on a new subject, or are you continuing with the, the last one? Well, I'm finishing off the last one. Okay. I'm taking my glasses off, so I don't have to look at it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> impatient fucker, I swear. No. Can't so, build it. Got to look at this damn drawing. Uh, yep. Well, yeah, but in your mind, the drawing has a different life than if I was looking at it. In my mind, I'm seeing the coil. Mm -hmm. And I just see some piece of paper with 
squiggles on it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's what it is. It's like spaghetti got spilled on the paper. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess my that raspberry tea. <laughs> that's it. Add a little bourbon to it, and you'll be all right. Color code that fucker. Color <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Red, white, and blue. Oh. Raspberry well, bourbon. I used and out, but but my computer <laughs> screen's almost all white now as it is. Is that good? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Report. Ah, you haven't. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get to the notes so I can put in the fishing, fishing report. report. Uh, last Thursday, as soon as we got off the radio, I was jumped in the van and headed out to my brother's house. Oh, yeah. Day. It was a tournament. Yeah, I went to a tournament. Uh, there were 12 boats. Uh-huh. You know, a little bit tournament, local yeah. lake. Uh, Twelve boats, and one of the one of the residents at the lake that wasn't fishing the tournament has a farm, and he wanted to put some bass in his farm pond. Uh-huh. So we kept everything. If it had scales on it, you kept it. Uh-huh. Yeah, you could only you could only weigh in five. But you could keep everything. And some of the boys caught like 15 or 20 bass that were 6, 8, 10 inches long, little bitty ones. And he kept them for this guy. He he really wanted a lot. So he, he was getting a lot. Uh, we fished for two hours. Uh, three hours. Four, five, yeah, three hours. And... Uh, my brother got big fish at 4.62 pounds, and uh, I caught five, and he caught like eight, and I caught a big catfish on a crankbait again. Uh, that didn't count. Uh, but we we finally ended up coming in second. Uh, he made up. yeah, he made ten bucks for for biggest fish, and we each made twenty bucks for coming in second. Cool. So it it was just a fun little deal. Get paid to go fish. You can't beat that. Hell yeah. But the the wind was blowing hard, and the the bass, uh, the big one came off the corner of a dock. Yeah, really. But most of them, yeah, most of them came off a flat that was about three foot deep. Huh. They they were just out roaming the flats. Uh, nothing was on the wood at all, uh, which is I'm a wood fisherman at at the lake I go to, uh, but. Different lake, different stuff. They got so many docks out there that, that the fish sort of orient around the dock. But that yeah. wasn't any good this time. That's it for the fishing report. Um, okay. Okay. Then I got a question because you yes. started the show out with the three phase was worked out, but we never did a Monday meeting update. So. Was that your indeed your Monday meeting, or is there still one? No, that uh, our Monday meeting was in a different area. It was discussing the one wire circuit from Tesla, which is what we reproduced in these coils partially. We're, we're using that concept, uh, but uh, we we went in depth on Tesla's brushless motor and the uh, one-wire system from Tesla. Uh, Tesla's brushless motor, uh, the way it works is it's got three different levels of magnetism that make his rotor spin. Uh, It's got a really strong magnetic field, a weaker magnetic field, and a weak magnetic field that makes that turn around. And when we realized that, that's when we decided that we needed three different coils to do the switching instead of one or two. Uh So 
we're evolving just like the just like the stuff. Yeah. Uh, so the single wire uh, thing you were talking about, elaborate on that. Just a single wire circuit, if it's got a dead battery in it, you can use that circuit to charge that battery. Uh, it's one, two, it's three coils hooked in series and then a transformer coil that's not attached to that. The, co the wire off the transformer coil uh, off the secondary of the transformer goes back to the negative on the, the battery. Uh, there's two capacitors in it and two resistors, a big resistor and a little resistor, both capacitors are the same, one above the resistors and one below the resistors, and those go to ground, and I gave you the wrong wire. The first wire goes to the positive off the transformer, and the wire off the ground below the second capacitor goes back to the negative, and that charges the battery simply through the resistance and the, the difference in charge between the both sides of each capacitor. Okay. I think. <laughs> well, it, it's... <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's, easier, it's easier to see when you're looking at it written down on paper. Yeah, I imagine. This and is I'm just so much harder to, 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 yeah, yeah, to describe. But, uh, but both, both capacitors are the same size, and they're just on opposite sides of the two resistors. And the reason that there's one big resistor and one little resistor is to create, again, an imbalance to charge the capacitors. That's what it's all about, an imbalance. That's it. They're always trying to work. They're always trying to make it work. Yeah. And the one wire system, you're just going from ground back to the back to the battery, and you're feeding the battery from ground. Yeah, it's sucking out of the earth. Right. So it's really just an earth battery. That's it. That's it. Connection. One wire circuit is an earth battery. Okay, that makes more sense to me now. So that's interesting. What else you got? Everything Tesla did was an earth battery. Everything Tesla did came off the pyramids and the Davis manual of magnetism. Mm -hmm. okay. All you guys out there that are working with this kind of stuff, read the Davis manual of magnetism first and then try to make up your words. Yeah, that's some dry reading. Yep. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> but but if you learn what's in that book, you will know what Leeds Kalman knew. You would know how to levitate things magnetically. Right. I should have a link to that here. It's, it's all about the five magic things. Volts, amps, ohms, frequency, and magnetism. That's the five wonderful things. The three things that everything in the whole world has, everything in all of creation has, is vibration, electricity, and magnetism. That's the Holy Trinity right there. Yeah. I expect everybody to know that that will be on the test. Okay. Okay. The five properties of electricity. I know and those. The three properties of matter. Yeah. Okay. It's all just stuff, and that's what you write on the test form. It's just stuff. It's all connected. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
It's all the same, except only different. So I'm going to go up to be a weather reporter because I know how to say the weather today will be exactly the same as it was yesterday with variable changes. You know, that ain't going to go over well. Oh. People like drama. <laughs> and stupid names for hurricanes. They really get into that, too. Oh. Yeah. Rochelle. Shaniqua. <laughs> Jiggy Fly. <laughs> anyway. It's okay to use a foreign name for your kid, but don't make up a name. Wait a minute. Why not? It's a free world. You can do whatever you damn well please. Yeah. It's so live with it. Most of the kids born this year are named COVID. COVID. <laughs> 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 God. You wacky voters and your <laughs> your hoax. <laughs> what rumor? Yeah, you thought I was gonna fall for it, didn't you? Huh. 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 Nope. My Facebook oh, okay. page has got to send off for your mail in ballot now. I can't get it off my Facebook page. That sounds like somebody's going to vote in your stead. If you don't vote, they'll vote for you. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send off for it and go ahead and mail it back in, and then I'm going to go to the polls and vote. Yeah. <clears throat> I can vote for me and my mom and my dad and my dog and my grandma. <laughs> and every pet you ever had. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Don't take this thing so seriously, Larry. They it's only a presidential election. They just wanted me to come down and cast their vote because they're too old to do it. Hmm. Yeah. Would you vote for me if I was going to run? Depends on what you're going to run from. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Had me worried for a minute there. Let's see. What would I run from? Hmm. Mostly just bullshit. I, I avoid Bullshit as much as possible. Yeah. The rest of, well, see, that's what I mean. Life is so nice when you're just a, like a nice guy and you just go through life being nice to people. They're nice. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to be mean to an old nice guy. What are you going to do? Look that's like it. an idiot. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> people treat me here very well. I like it. Yep. And I didn't. I didn't think it was any different here than any other place I ever lived. It's just, times have changed. People are, are in certain areas. People are under uh, more restriction and mandates than other people. Yeah. So well, it boils down to is you know the bigger your population, the more rules you got to apply. You know, abide by. Yeah. And the smaller, and then people don't get so much of a fuck. Leave me alone. I leave you alone. Wash your hands, you filthy prick, when you go in the store. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't give a f fuck. I go right from the garden right to the grocery. I don't give a shit. I wash I my hands know. before I, before I, you know, eat something. But what's the big deal about going out by people? You've lost your mind, Larry. Your garden's probably <sighs> cleaner than their store. Well... Can you imagine how difficult it would be for me at my age to smoke pot if I had a shitty fucking immune system? Uh, no doubt. Man, it would ruin me. I'd be like, hey, I can't smoke because it hurts and all that. No, it doesn't happen like that. Oh. I rather enjoy myself. Of course, I, I do hit the pipe a little too happy sometimes and get the little cough. But oh. A small price to pay. They have oh. mind like mind. Coughing just clears your lungs. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, and that, and that spicy chili in the food cleans your sinuses. <laughs> yeah, welcome to biology. Hey, things you didn't know for sure. Yeah. And now you know. Okay, so the last thing I got you marked off talking about was. The five properties of electricity. Yeah. But you said, and the five properties, and then I lost you. Oh, and the three properties. Three. Of, okay. of everything that there is, from a okay. photon all the way to the entire universe. 
Well, those, I just wanted to make a note of that. Yeah, those three properties are vibration, which causes electricity, which causes oh, 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 field. Vibration. Ah. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm still on everything. I'm a slow typer. Oh, okay. But we'll go with it. I'm going to put these in the notes, so Vibration. Oh. Yeah. Well, eh, it, it needed to be written down. Oh. Okay. Vibration <laughs> causes electricity. And electricity okay, that, yeah. causes magnetism. Okay, magnetism. And the third... Vibration, electricity, and magnetism. Okay, electricity. All right. Now we got it in tune. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, it vibrates, uh, and that causes electricity, and electricity causes magnetism. Okay. That's so, the yeah, large, stones. large stones are full of electricity? Yeah. Cool. Load okay. stone is, is the magnetic field that you move past a conductor to make electricity. But it has a small frequency. It has a besides the frequency, it has a small charge in it as well. That's why you can put a lodestone up to to something that's sore, a sore spot on you, and it'll make it go away. You can put a lodestone on your jaw if you got a toothache, and it'll make it go away. Hmm. Native Americans had piles of lodestones near every village as they moved from season to season. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All this new modern technology shit is just a way to make somebody money. It doesn't have anything to do with cures or feeling better or nothing. It's about lining a pocket. Yep. If you want to feel better, eat a vegetable. Absolutely. Read a fucking book once in a while. It won't hurt you. Go out in the yard barefoot. Hmm. Oh, yeah, like the animals, you know, that sometimes they just, for no reason, just start rolling around in the grass. Seen that today. They're, yeah, they're getting grounded. They know it. Yeah. So. Neighbors' dogs they know are out they there. Know. Neighbors' dogs they're are out there them. just diving into the grass and then just rubbing their face in the grass and then flipping over and wriggling on their backs and just going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, all, but it's a deliberate kind of a chaos. It yeah. seems to have a, a purpose to it. It's not just like... Yeah, if I did that in the living room, I'd break stuff. So, I <laughs> but the dog, the dog could just do it right here in the living That's room. That's gonna be fun. Sit out in the yard. <laughs> well, okay. You know what? Sometimes I got to tell you guys. After she has certain types of food, you know, it gets a little leftover from the, you know, the dinner fair. She does this little snorkel thing with her nose on the couch, like a sneeze. It's like some kind of a ritual. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, different animals behave. Well, come on. You've had your you've had a dog that did a weird thing when it it got something special. Do you put pepper on her food? No, no, no. It's more like a um, like some kind of a like a chaotic dance, like she does out in the yard when it's sunny and she wants to get grounded. But she does this after she eats certain meals. Mm -hmm. Ah. And she snorkels and rubs her nose all over this couch. And this one particular part of the house. And she does this little thing. She, she's getting rid of the scent. She's clearing her nose from the scent. But it's not it's yet. Not at, it, okay. But not at every meal. But it's just funny to watch mm -hmm. that performance. Oh. I didn't know that's what it was about, though. I believe that. Because they got an olfactory, like, you know... Like yeah. a Jew's got a nose, your dog has a huge olfactor. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not huge, but they're very sensitive. They're like 50 times more sensitive than us. Oh, yeah, dogs. Yeah. I don't know how that possibly be uh, the hearing thing. Because when I hear high-pitched noises, they about cripple me. Wow, what the fuck? Get that out of my head. Ah. Yeah. We're being invaded by the Klingons. Ah, they're using the sound wave. Yeah. The range of most animals hearing is much better than, Amer than, than Americans than humans. So when they bark, and, are they reacting to stuff they hear, or are they yeah. just be? Because there's got to be more to the, you know, the, why a dog barks. Stuff know. they hear, stuff they smell. <laughs> kind of like us, only different, huh? 
<laughs> just using their senses. Sure. That they would have. I bark at you if you passed me in the grocery and you smelled like a you know a shit house door? Oh mm. yeah, I wonder. Well, <laughs> I don't. My limits have not been tested here. I'm just I'm so I'm so lucky. It's almost boring. Yeah. Just uh, sure, yeah, because they like life. Wow, yeah, exactly. But if ten years ago, I wasn't ready for all that. Twenty years ago, I would have told you you're out of your freaking mind. But mm -hmm. here we are, anyway. So, but what was the? I forgot what it titled it you now. But it's the law," said the policeman to the woman. You guys reading any of that good stuff from Australia about the uh, COVID? About the mandatory vaccines? No, no. About how the police are treating the public over the just the draconian shit they already got going on with masks and social distancing and crap like that. Oh, they arrested a female a pregnant woman for uh, posting about going to a an anti demonstration yeah. or something. Or it's a bunch talking of shit. About, or, talking about demonstrating. Or it's a bunch of shit to scare people away from demonstrating. They go, well, they'll arrest a pregnant woman. They'll probably arrest me. I ain't going. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's gone full do you trust, over there. Do man. you trust... Okay, but do you trust the system that brings us information today? Oh, no, I don't know. So sometimes when I when I see these horrific things about shit going on in other places, I step back just a little further and go, wow, what if this is just made up crap? Just mm -hmm. to scare people so that they won't even try to get out of their little box. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's true. Because cops are cops. So. I don't know. Uh, I don't care too much for a Thor top. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't. I've still yet to find a use for a Thorita. It doesn't come into play in my normal day. Well, if you have to call them, they get there after everything is over with. So that doesn't do any good. Yeah, but what would I ever call them for? I mean, I can't imagine what the. Uh, somebody broke into my house and I want to report it. Oh, no, I got a baseball bat for that. Oh, yeah. More than anything. I'd be breaking a leg with a baseball bat. It's and the dog would probably time. be doing a little barking and shit. So. Yep. Nah, see, my first thought, nah. Ah, police, what a waste of money. Yeah. I trust people to be if exactly... Everybody... What? Go ahead. I trust people to be exactly what I think they're going to be. Ooh. Well, I sit back and then judge what others say and then follow, follow the little page along. And it's oh. kind of infallible. You give yourself up right away. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I've heard some rude things in the world. Man. My life hasn't been a bull as uh, what, uh, Captain Crunch. Um, <laughs> I give back the attitude that I get. I know that one. <laughs> Boy, do you. <laughs> I, I, I miss the uh, the mask stories. You got any new mask stories for us? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't even say it. Because no. all I've got is just the disappointment that I feel inside when I see people wearing, knowing what I know about the mask. And I see people wearing them, and it just makes me feel bad. I'm not, I'm not laughing at them, or I'm not angry at them. I feel bad for them. It's yeah, I'm not angry at them. I'm just, once again, impressed by the stupidity of the masses. It's just, if you ain't dumb, don't go out in public, it seems like. I'm... Well, I had to, I had to actually see these movies to understand what all this hoopla about this virus crap was. And it, there's movies that go back to the damn 50s. Yeah. Maybe even before that. But, uh, wow! Because the plague that killed the world. Right, but see, I always 
just assumed that was just drama because it didn't make any sense. It was just TV, you know, movies. Then I, I now I see them do it, you know, year in and year out, and the same story, but they use it for everything yep. to keep you afraid of the the one thing that's going to wipe out mankind, and okay. and it always it's starts in China. I mean, this was yeah. such a textbook book. This was like a play in a football game. It was yep. pitiful. <laughs> didn't fool me. Didn't oh, man? They got me until February. And I went, no, no, thank you. <laughs> well, because the first month or so, I figured, well, people are going to be dying of this flu. Okay, they're going to, and then at February, late February hit, and went, no, 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 no. I smell it. Nine eleven. <laughs> no, that's your feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, but it was so similar. You know the the perfectly timed news people, people that they interview on the news. And, Mm, oh man! Well, almost like it was orchestrated. No, exactly like it was orchestrated, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, if you're ten years old and you never saw a virus movie before, maybe. <laughs> Which is pretty much where I was because I never really cared to watch these stupid movies about the end of the world. Yeah, I'm still here, I'm still here, and this world has been ending ever since I got on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. All I've ever heard of my whole life is, oh, the end is coming. Oh, yeah, well. The world ends every 10 years. Or so. Or so. They That's why they take a census. So. <laughs> okay. I sent this thing to you guys onto the RLA. Or not, no, it's to the wire. The electromagnetic human test. Oh, yeah. I guess you guys didn't read it. Actually, I did. Did you Did you find that interesting? Yeah. I kind of thought you might. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's right up your alley. It's, yeah, it's very uh, apropos. Let me put a copy of that in the notes in the RLM chat, too. It's actually... Uh, so they'll know what the hell I'm talking right, right. about here. Yeah, uh, well, what I'm that. getting at is I put stuff in the, uh, in the wire for the other guys to... Peruse it's if they got some in here, you know, something in this might have a topic. Yeah. Or not. Anyways, it's yeah, transcribed on that website as well. It's it's so you can read it without having to watch it. So, yeah. Uh, I, there you are. Um, yeah, it talks about the. Uh, uh, weaponization of big media and oh yeah goes into the 5G stuff and uh, the internet of things and all the smart stuff yeah and within it, within it there's a link for a video but the rest of it's text the text is just a, a transcript of what the video says An exact transcript. The video just reads the text to you. So, yeah, selling the uh -huh. promise of magnitudes of efficiency gains and super fast download speeds. Cashless society. Convenience traded in for absolute control. Oh, come on. You, you've got to see this cashless thing's got to come in. Yeah, and they're trying to they're going about. to try to stall it till after the election, but maybe maybe they can't. The dollar is really in big trouble. Huge, 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 big, 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 bigger than life itself. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why you're all heavily invested in silver and such, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you know what? I'm um, heavily invested in today. Yeah. <laughs> I might not we wake up tomorrow, so I leave all the worry to you grown ups. Yeah, it's just something to uh, store mm -hmm. wealth. That won't lose its value. 
Yeah. Well, it says the Gates Foundation sponsored Event 201. Yeah. Simulated coronavirus pandemic killing 65 million people. See, this thing is so perfect. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just jealous because I didn't think of it. <sighs> if only I had one of those, like, crazy guy minds. What do they call that? A uh, politician. <laughs> I could be a politician for a day. Well, it's how long we figure Joey Biden's going to last when they pick him. No doubt. Yeah. No, Just long happen. enough to measure that girl up for a suit. Yep. Oh, no fucking way oh, no. Biden is ever going to be a big president. Yeah, he is. No, Why not? No. Because it's just, it's, it's obvious. He doesn't have the numbers. He doesn't? So I mean, that's what they but, said about Trump. That's what they're, you forget no, him. that's what they said about Hillary. Or, yeah. She beat him by almost three million votes. doesn't matter what the popular vote is, Ron. Come on. This depends on how many exactly. ballot boxes they stuffed. Well, I've, I was leaning more towards the obvious, which it's got to be the Federal Reserve Bank wants one or the other in there. And whoever they pick is who they're going to get. It really doesn't matter. matter. Whoever wins, it's going to be it's going to be chaos. Because no, the other side is not going to accept it either way. Whichever one wins, accept it. Wow, that must be a a level of la la land I'm not capable of reaching. To actually get angry at other people over (laughs) whose ass sits in a fucking chair. In a pretend thing. I, uh, uh, yeah. Wow. I, well, they do call it reality, but I don't. It's just a story to me. Some guy in America with Alzheimer's running for the. <laughs> yeah. Against another guy with Alzheimer's that's sitting in the chair already. <laughs> well, we've well, seen what happened for the last four years. They didn't accept it in 2016. The Democrats mm-hmm. still haven't, never did accept it. And they've been fighting what tooth and nail mean, like, to get him out of there. Like, well, you, it started off with the frickin' Russian thing, the impeachment thing, the, the COVID I thing. I've been over here all through all of it, so no. <laughs> I, I don't get a lot of news about it's America. Been a, it's been a constant attack against him for the, the whole four years. Okay, did they bomb the White House? No, political no. attacks. They've, political. Been, they've been trying yeah. to teach him and all kinds of funny stuff. Yeah, Yeah. well, so what? Look at all the shit he did do that he got away with. It's just <coughs> fair. Come on. He's, you know, he's not the Prince of Wales or anything. It's Donald no. fucking Trump. He's a banker shill. He's and, and we've got <laughs> three million miles of pipeline in the United States. And every single system leaks. Yeah. And what every yeah, one of them. What Monsanto hasn't fucked you up with, the oil oh. will finish off. That's right. <laughs> We're vice yeah. versa. Yep, yeah. all of our corn almost is GMO. If you've got a cornfield that's not GMO, close to one that is, it will be GMO after two generations. Uh, that doesn't sound very good. Yeah, they're predatory crops. Yeah, Yeah. they actually designed the Monsanto to to profit. I did. I did a little reading and watched a few links about the games Monsanto played with the farmers. Oh boy! Wow! How see if these judges weren't bought and paid for? How do you explain Monsanto winning these cases? Yeah, exactly. Monsanto will sue the farmer that's planting natural stuff because his stuff gets crossbred with the Monsanto stuff. That blew in on his property. Yeah. yeah. Their stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what a game. Yeah. See? Yep. Fuck that was. No, it's not. That's, hey, that's capitalism, man. Don't you no. know? <laughs> that's not <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> well, that's, you know uh, what? Okay. In all fairness, okay. predatory capitalism. <laughs> uh, that, but you said, 
Okay, but you did use the C word because really there's no other way to call it. But you know, even though they do it immorally, it's still capitalism. Yeah. It's just a perverted version of it. It's sure. Uh, sure. like anything yeah. else. Come on. Yeah, well, I'm no big uh, proponent of capitalism over any other thing. It's all this, yeah. It's it's all this. They're all, they're all, they all suck. Oop, he said the S word, Larry. Uh oh. I know. We're going to get censored by what's the Facebook. Just like Captain America. Cool. <laughs> no. I don't want to be on Facebook. Yeah. Why not? Aren't kids fucking Zuckerberg and Facebook and all that? I don't want to be on there. Well. So I kind of like Facebook because they prove that what I post is right when they fact check it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, huh? Yeah, I figure I figure if they fact check something, that that means that it's true, or at least most of it's true. <laughs> most of it. And they're not <laughs> and they're not deleting all your stuff, so it must be all they're good. They're deleting a bunch of my stuff. Oh yeah. They won't let me put po- they won't let me post the right healing frequencies. Oh no, that's that's been flagged. Oh uh, man. Go over to Bit Shoot. Oh we or, or we be or me we or whatever the hell that thing is. Yeah, I don't know. We. Now he's talking in foreign language to Yeah, you. I don't know what I'm doing. Me we is a new one. Uh oh. Ah, oh, man, I was just getting used to BitChute. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I thought BitChute was a Bitcoin site. Oh, man. Here we go, moving again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the, new, the only constant change. Is that it? Are mm-hmm. you sure? Mm-hmm. Yep. If you say so. Wow. Everything, you can be sure. Everything changes except change itself. Well, we're getting to it's always changing. Scared. Yeah, but, you know, this might start me to thinking. Oh, sure. You know what happens? You know what happens when you choose think? Yeah, uh, somebody, <laughs> somebody loses, start somebody loses some, some money somewhere. <laughs> maps start ma- just uh, magically changing. <laughs> yeah. History. Borders. Complete histories of countries. Borders that start moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a gift. Yeah. I, I just, I'm just glad that the, the rest of you people don't have to carry the burden like I do. <laughs> 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 you poor thing, you. Oh man. Well, I'll tell you, I can't do this in person. You can't tell a Jew, "Hey, you fucking Jew." Then they get all mad and shit. They, you know. Yeah. <sighs> well, yeah, because they hide behind their religious bullshit. It's really fucked up. What? Yeah, well, I tend well, to yeah, avoid them. That's not a good topic, huh? I just tend well, to avoid it all. <laughs> People in general. <laughs> they yeah. all suck. <laughs> well, not really. Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, they do. Well... See, then again, it depends. It's a matter of communication, right? And I've learned in my 60 years here is that the less communicating I do with the public, the better off I truly am. Yep. 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 Because you know what people don't want? Don't leave me hanging. What? Yeah. No, they don't. They don't want the reality rocked. They want their reality the way they see it, just like I oh, do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because well, but what we what we need to all learn in our own time, I suppose, but sooner, is reality is subjective. It's not a fucking uh, thing that you can force on somebody else. It's, it's a matter of perspective. Ex- Duh, now that see that's what Mary would say. Oh. I totally agree with all this, but we are this fringe of people that still have the ability to make a decision for ourselves, no matter how it looks to the rest of the family. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Well, perspective can be skewed by oh, the, well, by, a belief, by belief systems. 
Look, look at a cylinder. From the side, it's a rectangle. From the end, it's a circle. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the elephant right. leg to a blind man. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah there's so many ways to explain Same it. deal. Right, but still, we got this joint illusion that we call society, Larry, and, and people, although they don't participate in it, they read about it and feel connected to it somehow, like it involves them when it has nothing fucking to do with them. It's like a sports fan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like me looking on... It's a the whole industry. sports fan mentality. Yeah. It's the same shit. And I've seen the movie so many times, and it, when I lived there, that nothing that happens surprises me. You know, like... The, 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 I had a lot of fun reading about Pelosi and her hairdo, hairdo thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. But, now... Is it is it the pettiness of the people, or is this how petty this woman truly is? She tells her people that vote for her not to do shit, and then she goes and does it behind their back. Yeah, the rules don't apply to her. Yeah, because I read, I got framed. Good for thee, but not for me. Do any, didn't do anything. How do you get framed? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. So I went, holy oh, fuck. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was reading. I thought it was... <laughs> right now, I'm still like, wait a minute. Are we seeing the same thing the same way? Yeah, why is this a big deal? Because it's so weird. That's why, Rob. It's the world is on crazy. fire, and and the biggest thing for people to talk about is Nancy fucking Pelosi's hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to, you know, to take your mind off what they're talking about it for is the hypocrisy of it. But that's not the way it translates. It translates differently somehow. Yeah. Unless you got to, you know, sit down and give it some thought. Well, yeah, I posted a link about it this morning. About uh, They got a petition going. 16,000 people signed a petition to have Pelosi charged uh, just like anybody else would be charged if they went somewhere and did what she did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, I think it was titled... Uh, uh, you think anything will come of it? It's not just the little people that, that have to follow the law or something like that. Yeah. Law is not just huh. for the little people. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's what, yeah, but that's what this, this petition is saying. So, yeah, well, it's, it's in your face. It's all. Yeah, because it's so deep in the game now. I mean, what are they going to do to her? Put her in jail? Are you nuts? You know, no, they're not going to put her no. But royalty doesn't go to jail. They get assassinated or commit suicide. All right. Yep. Royalty yeah. Suicide doesn't work. Yeah, but she's older than my favorite shoes. Right before they retire on a beach somewhere with Saddam and Ken Lay. And, and, yeah. Uh, she's, she's looking pretty well worn out. Epstein. She is 80 years old, for fuck's sake. If she has many more facelifts, it'll be her asshole that's showing up on her face. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, there, must, there must come a time in your life where you got to let go of that physical vanity. Get over it. But for people that don't, like Nancy Pelosi and yeah. fucking Trump, <laughs> what a pair to draw to. <laughs> and you pull up a Joe Biden. Wow. What? And see, the story just gets funnier as you go. Uh, I mean, yeah. here's... They were making jokes about Donald Trump becoming the president of the United States. Yep. yep. So, who was joking him. about what? That's uh, funny. You can watch a montage of them. Maybe they were told in the future. Hmm. I don't know. They were saying over and over. What? No way Trump's going to be president. Okay, well, now that he is, and it looks like he's going to continue to be, what what do you see happening in your wonderful state in the near future? Uh, same, same shit. Progressing as uh -huh. usual, same agenda as always. It never, the yeah. agenda never changes. Right. Just, just the bobblehead. Yep. Yeah, well, they got a lot of enforcement on this corona one. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of money behind it. It's all about what they put their money into it. They got billions and billions of dollars to feed into this shit. 
Well, so that's what what you see happening is what the rich people are putting their money into. Absolutely. Name, namely Soros and, and Gates and yeah, they're just getting richer uh, because they're Zuckerberg and Bezos and uh, Walton's. All those people, top 500s, whatever you want to call them, G20s, Builder Burgers. Well, Larry. What? I know we got your attention there, but you. No? Well, yeah, it's, it's all the rich folks, they're. They're billions of dollars richer now because of this shit. Okay, oh, yeah. still, it's all make-believe and pretend, yet we accept it as reality. That's the disappointing part to me, is why enough people can't get together and go, hey, let's reset this fucking thing and not do it like you did it last time. <laughs> that yeah. fractional reserve banking shit's got to go. Can't do that. Yeah, maybe we'll get rid of the usury too. But uh, see, there's no way to satisfy this uh, quest for greed and total mm -hmm. domination, because that's pretty much what these idiots want. Yeah, they have. They don't care about the money anymore. Yeah, they got. All get, the money they got so much money. That, yeah. Now it's all about what can we do. Well, like, I how, how can we shape the world in our image? <laughs> <laughs> be like me or die. Let's be Christian. That's it. Uh-uh. I don't want to do that. What else you got? Um, Total XL or re-education at FEMA camp. Okay. Now, I've not brought that up, but I've read a lot of shit on the Internet indicating that there truly are camps in America. Oh, yeah. And as they've shown, no, no little have they shown you over the last eight months, now there's reasons to use places like that. And you get the cooperation of the public because they're all terrified of the 28 million people that are going to have nowhere to live next month. Mm -hmm. So this story is written. It's, I mean, it's so obvious that it was a... Just a story from the gate. Nothing is yeah. nothing that we're seeing has happened by chance. It's all planned. Every freaking disastrous step of the fucking way is all planned by somebody with a lot of money to watch and see the sheep scramble. Like some kind of a board game. Yep. Yep. Well, I for one am not too pleased with this. You know? I could find better ways to spend my time than uh, <coughs> running around on public transport, not being able to breathe. Well, well, my motto is, if I can't walk there, I ain't going. Right, Bubbler? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can even answer when he's bubbling. He's multitasking over there. Now, me, I, I multitask. I do one thing at a time. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm multitasked. I sit down and watch TV. Dad, what do you watch when you watch TV? I like I like science fiction movies. Hmm. I like to see spaceships. I like to see Iron Man suits. Ah. Uh, things like that. I like <coughs> the, the, the Avengers and their high technology. Oh, uh, Diana Rigg just died. 82 years old. From yeah, from the event, right? Or not? No, that was a different show, wasn't? It? No, it was called The Avengers. It was the English guy with a bowler hat and the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl that the first one, she just died. Wow, Diana Rick, eighty-two she was. Cool. But I was telling Grim just yesterday, I found the absolute worst movie ever made, and it was on Netflix. Oh, good. And you felt it the need is, to I, share it. Well, I've never seen a movie that was so bad. In, in, it was. Let me find the title. The title kind of gives it away, but <laughs> I forgot. It's a long title. Let me open the damn thing, and that way I can at least quote that right. But it was about crime. 
in the future and this, that, and the other shit like that. Uh-huh. And, I, and I sat through, I think it was like two hours, and I actually watched a lot of it. Uh, and it was, it was like painful. It was, <laughs> well, Hollywood is directing where people's minds go. Whether you, you know, whether you know it or not, it's still there. They're yep. still working on it. They're working that last nerve. Okay. Oh. And let me see what this thing is called. Uh, chit, 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 chit. And my peel. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right. Was it in my field? Yeah. The oh, first I, one. Not, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those movies that you're real happy that you didn't pay to go see. <laughs> <laughs> the Avengers. Oh, here's the title of it is called The Last Days of American Crime. And it was absolutely horrible so I've given that film the title of that is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life <laughs> usually I tell Sterk ah, I just saw the 84th worst movie 84th worst movie ever made this one is number one I never say that so I think I mean it I gave it a thumbs down El numero uno. well I'm usually unaffected by the the performance of an actor on a TV screen. It usually doesn't really sell me one way or the other. Or the script is usually something that's just obviously over the top. This thing was made so badly, I couldn't believe it made it. I couldn't believe they made it. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, it, was like, it was like somebody just snipped together a bunch of shit and then just flashed it on the screen. It, it almost didn't make any sense to me. Cloverfield. I don't know, but, you know, I can usually follow a story in a movie, no matter how badly written it was. This one was, uh? <laughs> Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> it was one of those. So, uh, you know, where, the, where, the, where the 50 caliber bullet holes go through the door of the truck, but nobody inside gets shot... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're out of your fucking mind. And them. Okay, they might not have been 50, but I mean, these holes in the door of the truck at the end of the film are so, they're huge. Yeah. They're not handgun slugs. <laughs> pretty big. So, but still, you know, they got these guys, got the couple. <laughs> it's always a guy and a girl now. You know. The guy's stupid, and the girl saves him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck, how did we get here? My God, I'm going to never allow my wife to watch these American movies. <laughs> and, and all <laughs> the superhero ones that we've got. Oh, no, it oh, would yeah. just be the embarrassment of how stupid men look now uh, on film and movies. Make us look like idiots. Oh, yeah. Well, now that... It's all geared towards the eighth grade level. Now, the girls are going to start looking up to Harley Quinn now. I want to be <laughs> like Harley when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, that's as in, See, I'm small, so I know the reality of... Uh, I'm not going to go into a big room full of big people and whip eight of their asses and walk out with an out of hair out of place. Are you kidding? Probably break three or four fingers on a punch and get my head caved in before I could... <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, be a grill. But these little, you know, 110-pound girls go in there and just whip everybody's ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I want one of those. <laughs> Yeah, the last bar fight I saw that had more than two attendants, it was like a, a big group giving each other a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Just people punching each other. <laughs> a big old group of punchers. <laughs> it, was, it was weird. It was in North Carolina. Yeah, the 
city of brotherly love or whatever. State <laughs> of brotherly love or something like that. Yeah. Well, well it's official. Okay. <laughs> Trump has joined the ranks of Obama and has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, yeah. Yeah, over the Israeli massacre. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I can't like him now. I, it's just... Anybody who's won the Nobel Peace that, Prize? They used to give that to people that were important and did something. Yeah. Now it's just <laughs> whoever's got the most money can buy one. I suppose I uh, never gave a shit. Ouch. Yeah. Just one of them things, all right, so what, you know? You got a prize from a bunch of rich motherfuckers, who cares? Just mm-hmm. like them letters after your name, it don't mean jack yep. shit. Yep, never miss shit to me. Oh, maybe for a minute. It meant that I made a dollar or two more an hour. That's about it. Well, I mean, it's, hindsight's always it's always easier years later when you know after you've changed your mind. Yep. But really? man, I remember struggling with a lot of this grown up shit when I was in my twenties, trying to decide, you know, what kind of kind of piece of shit do I want to be? Uh, yeah. yeah. How much of your soul are you willing to sell to be uh, successful? Well, yeah, and in the long run. Well, it's what, it's what it comes down to. <laughs> Sorry, I jumped okay. to the end. Well, yeah, some people <laughs> just settle for the settle for the comfort and don't like my wife. She's not real aggressive with finance, so you know, it, yeah. she's bearable. Yeah, she's not real greedy, and no. Oh, well, I appreciate that because that's the nature of the people I come from. Everybody, ah, what do you got? How much are you worth? Blah, blah, blah. Who are you work for? Blah, fuck off. Yeah. Well, there's, there's a lot to be said for being comfortable living within your means. Shit. When anybody asks me what I, what I do here, I tell them I work for the CIA. I retired. <laughs> what? Yeah, 25 years retired from the CIA. They go, no. Well, okay, you asked. Really? You, you work? No, I'm fucking around with you. <laughs> But, see see how it's just so easy to tell people what they really want to know, but they don't really want to know. <laughs> then when you tell them, yeah, it's like, oh. Yeah. Well, aren't you glad you asked me now? <laughs> <laughs> because no matter what, after that first little incident, they're always going to remember you said that to them. And always have that little bit of air of distrust because, well, you fucked him once. <laughs> so Land you gotta be really careful. Huh? Oh, I'm just looking at something new. Here's another new uh, 5G video. Good. Exposing the 5G existential threat to humanity in a way we had never imagined possible. You've heard of all the smart technology, smart TV, smart this, smart that. You know what SMART stands for? Nope. Secret Militarized Armaments in Residential Technology. Oh, that's just unattractive. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Cease and desist. Yep. Did that I work? Smart Stop here, your smart thermostat. Smart stove. Well, you know, with all this COVID shit for the last eight or ten months, there's not been a lot of conversation about the 5G. Well, the 5G is what is stimulating the COVID. If you look where the where the highest outbreaks of COVID is, that's where 5G is. And, well, it, and it still attacks the old and people with illness, pre-existing conditions that are oh. fatal. So well, anybody that's susceptible to a loss of oxygen in their system, that's what the 5G actually produ- induces, is yeah. the inability of the body to uptake oxygen. It, okay, bas- so it basically mass for, right? It so basically, it. using frequency, causes the cells, the, the cells, mm-hmm. to be unable to take in oxygen. And they're doing this in schools, right? Yeah. 
Are they doing it at the university level as well as public? They're school? doing it everywhere. I don't know. Can I not? It's in it's it's here in Hot Springs. We have five G right here. Five G has to be within two hundred feet of everything. Every two hundred feet, they've got a, another repeater for okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say it again. Five G. It's not five G. It's the frequency of the radio. It's right. thirty gigahertz or twenty six yeah. gigahertz and above. This is where the yeah. damage comes in. Five G will run on uh, two point four and five gigahertz. Just like standard. Standard Wi-Fi, my, my router that I have right here has two bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz, not the same thing as 5G. 5G is a protocol. It's like TCP IP. It's, it's a protocol. It's a language that the uh, devices use to communicate with each other. The damaging radiation they're talking about is the high frequency 26 gigahertz and above. It's the same stuff they use in the backscatter radiation uh, devices in the airports they're using to x ray people with. Yeah. And so they can have 5G, but not 30 gigahertz. And like you were saying, those high, high frequency. Uh, transmitters have to be within 200 feet because they can't even pen penetrate a standard house wall. They, yeah, they, they can't. They, that's why they cut down the trees. Not, not only can they not get their signal through the trees, but they kill trees with their signal. Yeah, so it would be kind of obvious you put a tower up and all of a sudden the trees are all dead. Yeah, that's why so they that's, why they, that's why they clear cut around them. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. But I, yeah, I hear this all the time, and nobody really. I don't. I've, I've explained it several times. Five G is a protocol. Yeah, and and with the satellite system that they've got, they're using that sixty gigahertz and thirty gigahertz up to look into your house. That is a surveillance system. Yep. Because the, the satellites could not broadcast the 5G down to those little uh, cell phone pole top receivers that they've got. doesn't work like that. The, the 5G that they've got in the, in the satellites is for projecting the frequency down onto the earth like HARP points it up, uh -huh. 5G points it down. Right. So that means they can they can control you. They can put thoughts into your head. They can make you have visions. They can make you susceptible to any disease that they want to just by changing the frequencies. That's what it's doing to the New York folks. Uh, the, there's a lot of things they can do with this frequency in such a high range. <clears throat> That high range frequency that they're using from space <clears throat> penetrates everything. They can see you inside your house. Yep. So that's that's what the high gigahertz stuff is. Tie that into all the other smart stuff, the the uh, appliances and the the Internet of Things, and uh, and Hal's talked about all this stuff, too, and how that's all going to be tied into a blockchain-type system. And everything's going to have an address on the blockchain. Everything. Your clothes, your shoes, your shirt, your belt. Your computer, your mouse, your refrigerator. Everything's going to have an address on the Internet of Things. Boy, they're going to have fun in my house. i got junk everywhere. Everything has an RFID chip in it. Which, you'd be surprised how much shit in your house has an RFID chip in it. Even the, no, even the tires never... even the tires on your car. So, yeah. It's, 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 a, it's full spectrum domination control. From the top down. Yeah. 
Well, I feel better now. Do you? <laughs> Wish no. I did. <sighs> well, and that's yeah, why I, I keep screaming, hurry the fuck up and get that shit done, Larry, so we can all go off good. <laughs> yeah. Well, we could go anywhere in the fucking world and live comfort, in comfort. Well, you could escape to Acapulco. And I might. It's the, of, um, it's the home of the wayward American soul. There's a lot of them there, yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot in Costa Rica and uh, different parts of Mexico, and not just Acapulco, Guadalajara, and that area has a lot. Um, and all over, all over the world. Oh, I've been researching uh, expatriation for over a decade, if not two. Wow! I never even took a class. Uh, Mary says I'm an overachiever. There's a website. I wonder if it's... Of course, it's still gone. EscapeFromAmerica.com Wow. I can't even believe that. Okay. Escape from America. Sounds like, I don't know, science fiction. And I supposedly did it, but I don't think I escaped from anywhere. Of course, I could be wrong. I think you got out just about the right time. It, well, yeah, hindsight being what it is, but I mean, it wasn't like any idea I had. Just the way life went. I was staying on, on the door table. Boy, I sure like to be a pompous dick. And, you know, oh, I knew all this crap uh, was going to happen. And oh, it it's, failed out. It's not that. It's called uh, escapeartist.com. Oh, what is Oh, about getting out. International strategies for the globally minded. It's all about how to uh, move and live in other places. How to? Oh live. yeah, I guess that would. You know, all of the, all of the, and with links and information and stuff on all about uh, you know all of the uh, visa requirements and immigration requirements and. That ridiculous. I mean, free people, and we get treated like that every time we move. Uh, yeah, fucking yeah. ridiculous. There's no such thing as free people. Well, there was there was years ago. I remember traveling free, and, and it, yeah. it, it wasn't. The illusion was pretty fucking still, good when I was. I don't know. Uh, passports have been around for how long? When did you travel oh, without? Yeah. A, when did you ever travel without a passport? Uh, before I got one, I got my first one in '89. So until 1989, I didn't use ID for except for if I had to get a driver's license for a job or something. But you know, keep yeah. one on. But did you ever leave the country before then? No, you can't leave the country without a passport. Then you've you never been free. Well, when I was a teenager <laughs> and I was hitchhiking around, I don't think I had the wherewithal to know that I was not free. So well, yeah. Well, you never tried to read the I, I, I had to grow up to learn that I wasn't free because uh, I, I didn't know I wasn't Well, yeah, no, because that's all you'd ever been told all of your life. No, because... You live in the I land of the free and the home of the birds. No, and no, no. I left. I would leave home and... 12 years old and go do what I wanted for months at a time. Well, that's <laughs> No, not the average life. I'm just saying, I, I didn't know I wasn't free until I was in my 20s. Oh, yeah. And then I started... Yeah, well, that's a, yeah, that's a mindset. <laughs> how the older people talked about driver's licenses and, you know, it got my attention and I was in these bars listening to these older guys talking and went, like, Holy fuck, man. I thought I was going to be free and live how I wanted to. And said, the fuck you are. You signed the papers, pal, or you don't get fucking nothing. Are you crazy? Yep. But I was like 26 or so before that period of time started where I was listening to older people warning me about what I was headed to. Mm-hmm. And it still took another two years for me to actually stop it because, you know, I was greedy, and I wanted to make money. Yeah, that's how they get you. 
If you want right. to get anywhere or do anything, you've got to play the game. Mm. Otherwise, you're yeah. you're you're pretty much shunned. Oh well, they can you see now. I'm old enough. I like being shunned. You can't get, you can't do anything. You can't get a bank account. Can't get a job. Can't. Uh, uh, oh, it's only going to get worse in the future with all this technology shit and the crap uh-huh. and the Corona crap and. The right oh, crap. Oh, it's just just getting ratcheted down day by day. Okay, so how seriously is it where you are? Because where I'm at, if nothing's bad or good, it's the same as it's always been, except well, it's, it's the just, trans people with their masks. Yeah. Well, it all depends on what you're trying to do. If you're not trying to do anything, it's not bad. Nobody messes oh, okay. with me. Nobody bothers me. I, you know... I oh, got, got broke uh, into, though, yeah. Yeah, I got broke into and got a $400 lawnmower stolen and box tools. I you. you know. And now I have, I now I have a big, beefy uh, padlock on there and a security system and cameras. Yeah, and see, uh, so that's... It's exactly just something I wanted to do anyway. I've been wanting to get that done anyway. That just kicked me in the ass to get it done, so... That would be the last thing I'd ever want to do. Well, when me and Sir were uh, in that apartment in Copenhagen, they were just bragging about They had just put up security cameras and how wonderful they were. And the very first day after that, somebody stole her bicycle. <laughs> A lot yeah, of bikes. Yeah, yeah. Just because they put these cameras up, saying, aha, show it. Well, I, yeah, I should have known. When you got... Crackheads walking down the street with the shirt off, uh, yeah. pushing a shopping cart, going, hoo, hoo, oh. I'm gonna figure this shit out. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> That's exactly what he sounded like. It's fucking crap, man. I'm gonna figure this I, shit out. I'm gonna figure it out. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> 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 I mean, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't happen until after the break in, but yeah. And, and then the chick walking down the street with another butter bra on and took her shirt off because she was sweating, I guess. Uh, oh, wow, you're complaining, huh? You got all that. Yeah, money. she wasn't nothing to look at. Uh, but anyway. Oh, yeah. okay, I see. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Description of. 5G technology. <laughs> hey, uh, it, it, it is what it is. Well, right, but see, the, the media, right? You know how the media works, people. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, I mean, you're immu- just because you're immune to it does not mean that you don't see what the fucking shit does to other people that are not immune to it. Yeah. Maybe if- yeah. Be very afraid. Well, all right. How do you beat being afraid, Larry? I mean, you got a magic secret or decision or how do you do it? I know how I do it. Well, I kind of got a different attitude about dying than most folks. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready and willing. <laughs> uh, I I haven't had a pain-free day since 1983. Damn. And it, it gets a little old. No Some doubt. Some days are better, but I've never not hurt since 1983. Yeah. Huh. But, Damn. But, uh, and, and I've been killed three times and gone far enough on the other side that I want to go there. Uh Death is not the end. <laughs> so electricity taught you a thing or two, huh? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you've got the ability to understand how small cells truly are <laughs> and can see that bit of life and understand it, then the rest of the stuff just looks like a bad joke. Yeah. It, That's what I've come to the decision of anyway. Yeah. If you're taking it all seriously, you're you're wasting your time, my time, and everybody else around you's time. Well, too. Every, every day in every way, something is going to kill you. And and every year there's a new virus, a new sickness, 
a new bad guy in the world or something that's going to kill you. Yep. Don't don't worry about that crap. You can't do nothing about it. Live yeah. your life. Be be good. Day by day, week by week, year by year. Remember the past. Think about the future, but live in the present. That's what my wife tells me to do. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> hey, have you ever uh, tried kratom for pain? It, I've heard that word two or three times here lately, and I don't think I can get any. My. Hmm. Maybe it's some other word that I've heard. And Kratom? K R A T O F. What does it mean? What does it do? It's a plant. Um, let me find it. Yeah, because it's a legal. It's a. It's, a it's just a, It's an herbal pain reliever that. Uh, I'm trying to make it illegal because it works. No, I yeah. haven't. Yeah. Kratom legality in Missouri. Here we go. Yeah, if you got a few minutes, you might want to check into it, Larry. Absolutely. Can't I will I will give you what you need. As of May 2018, Kratom is legal without restriction in the state of Missouri. It means there's no penalty. <laughs> 2018. Year, though? 2018. Oh, okay. Um... So, yeah, let's see here. Uh, I'll just post this. This is a, has links okay. to, to shops and stuff, or, or they actually sell it, but yeah. I will post this here. Put that in the wire for Larry? Yeah, I'll put it in the chat. He's in the chat room. Um, you want, you want yeah, to uh, Java Doctor in the chat room is, has been buying credit and by the kilo. Um, because uh, he just had knee surgery and hip surgery. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't think he'll be without it at this point. So, and uh, my buddy Steve is, is uh, he's the one that t uh, told me about it originally. And uh, him and his wife are both herbal aficionados. And she's an herbalist herself. But, yeah, they've been uh, into the Kratom for a long time. It's, a, it's, a, it's actually a tree. Um, it's, a, it's a small shrubbish tree that has leaves that look like an oak tree leaf, uh, a live oak. And, uh, yeah, it has to be boiled down and, and uh, extracted and so forth and... I think you can just grind the leaves into powder too, but um, it's it's fairly cheap, uh, relatively. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking at the at the site right now. Yeah, the uh, it's originally from China, I think. Yeah, I, so the, by the names of it, it doesn't seem yeah. like it's around here. Yeah, let's see. Uh, like what kilo is probably so about uh, two hundred bucks a kilo. Yeah, yeah. Hundred grams for thirty-five up to one hundred and ninety-five for a kilo is what it's looking like there. Yeah. Which um, I don't know if John is around right now. I don't see him. Uh, but yeah, he's he's definitely does it. Uh, Mike uh, is also one that's on, uh, into it, I believe. I'll save that to my bookmarks. Mm. And it's 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 for it's a good long term uh, pain management. Uh, thing. It's not like, you know, the, the the drugs. Yeah. It doesn't wear you down. Yeah, this 
they sh it shouldn't do anything to to affect anything, and if I got too much of it, I'll eliminate it. Yeah, it, this kind of thing, completely herbal stuff. There's no way you can overdose on it. Yeah, do you no, no, you can, you can, you can, you can take it. You can take. Uh, now it, it it'll give you a hell of a buzz if you take a lot. It, it, you can. You can experience some things, but uh, it's not a real fun buzz. It's, it's more. Mike just got on. Mike just got on. The yeah, it's all that. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of which, um, yeah, I think he, he took kratom or is taking kratom still. Um, when he had his head injury, spent six weeks in the hospital. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, he was dead too. Um, changes your outlook of what's important. I'll tell you what, his whole life has turned around. He quit drinking, um, and uh, got his shit together, and well, through circumstances, mainly got into a place, and is doing real well now. Good. So, yeah, he's... Uh, He's uh, met all the neighbors and made friends and gotten work and and uh, this place he's got is amazing. It has all kinds of neat stuff and room to grow garden and and uh, do all the things. Yeah, that sounds really good. Yeah, he's he's been real fortunate lately. After going through a horrendous ordeal with the state, yeah, you don't know his story. He got uh, accused of a crime he did not commit, okay. and the uh, sheriff or somebody in the police department or one of somebody involved, there was a informant or somebody, one of their little snitches that they used that they that actually shot at a bus and they depended on him or tried to and raided his house and found a small amount of weed that he didn't even know he still had and um, gave him shit and then one day if I heard the story right he was in court coming out of court and all of a sudden he, he got whacked in the back of the head and woke up in the hospital and evidently nobody saw it happen. Right. Yeah. If I'm remembering the story correctly, I didn't... You know, you know how it is in the chat room. It's hard to catch everything, all the details. But, in a nutshell, that's his story. Uh, Palmer. But yeah, I got a lot of respect for him. He, he overcame and... They said he wasn't going to walk again. Or first, he wasn't going to talk again. He started talking, and he wasn't ever going to walk. And now he's walking and working on uh, equipment and doing doing stuff, living yeah. life, living life. Says fuck y'all. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, it's uh, it's all in what you think you can do. If you think you can't. You're most likely right. Yep. Yep. If, you, if you think exactly. you can, you you got a real good chance. <laughs> yep. Anyway, it's like that uh, thing. If you, you don't know till you try. That's it. That's it. Give it a whirl. See what happens. Yep. We know some things that won't make a three-phase motor work, but they do other things. <laughs> hey, and you learned other stuff, too, that, that's going to come in somewhere down the line, and it's all going to tie in because it's all connected. That's great. Yep. That's that. yep. It's all part of the whole. And yep. there's a 72 different ways to wire it that's, Got another 72 that's the opposite polarity, so we ain't found all the things that it can do yet. I'm excited all about all the things you've already found. Just what you found, this is just what you got now is is uh, paradigm changing. 
Oh, absolutely. We we have come so far in the past year or two, a, a lot farther than we had in the previous five years. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen you just in the time I've been talking to you. Uh, just in the time we've been doing the show, I've seen. I mean, because before you were, you had uh, uh, what was it? What were you running on on before the Hallback Array thing? Before that, we were working on a washing machine or a dryer motor. No, before the Hallback Array thing inside, you used to have a thing that spun inside there. And oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We yeah, rotated the. Uh, a floating magnet in it. Yeah, that was before you got the hallback array thing figured out and started producing AC power. Yeah. Back yeah. when you were still uh, doing all the DC stuff. That happened while we were doing our show. During the well, time that sure we've is. been doing this show. So I've seen it progress. And well, it's happening I've fast. I've still got a fan motor with magnets attached to the shaft instead of a, of a blade that we spun in them for a while just to figure out what they'd do. Right. Yeah, so you've, you've progressed just in the time I've known you. Yeah. It's coming along. I just... Like I said, and, I, and we've got we've got the three sided pyramid with with these uh, the the on off waiting concept of the supercomputers that'll be done at room temperature. Interesting. And I've always had a vision. Off. I've always had a vision of a pyramid, a, a pyramidal shape. Uh, Unit of some kind. Yeah. E equilateral triangles, three sided, yeah. with a base of four sided pyramid. Yeah. Three vertical uh, sides and one horizontal side. A four sided die for you DD players. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, we got one minute left. Uh oh. And yeah, that might not quit. Powder dry. Yes, sir. Dixie cups of south shall rise again. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm glad I'm in the north. Yankee. Oh boy, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you jumped into a discussion on that one, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I'm in Denmark, uh, America. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I think Yankee has a whole other meaning out this way. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh oh, yeah. I, I don't think they're being very nice. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks a lot, you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it, everybody. Uh, Thank you, guys. And uh, we'll see y'all next week. Bye. Bye-bye.